Kerrang Radio single of the week interview with Sophie K. I know Sophie. I like Sophie. Oh no, one of the wrong things. It's been a minute. Uh, 4.45. Now, for anyone who doesn't know you, mm-hmm. little tell bit of us what it's like growing up on the internet. Because you you started doing it young, right? Yes. I started off on the internet as a My Chemical Romance fan account. Um, and then I just started posting about my life. And that's how I started gaining an audience, really. Like, growing an audience. Hey. This is done by Nirvana, because... Relatable. Hi. I'm transgender. I finished school! I'm still not sure if I want to go to university. You're lying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Yup. There's like, loads of people asking me what my name is. Uh, so I'm no fans. I'm a musician and I've been a YouTuber influencer since I was like 15 years old. So I didn't really know what to make a YouTube video about because I'm kind of new to this YouTube thing. I accidentally became a YouTuber. Uh, I would just post covers every week. I don't know what my relationship with the internet is right now. Like I hate it. I definitely hate it. Uh, before I properly start this video, I should probably say thank you to all the nice messages and comments. I realise it's probably not very normal to have hundreds of thousands of people telling you what they like and hate about you at that young of an age. Um, I also love it because I get to do music. Oh, start video. Morning. Hello, how are you? I'm, yes, it's 9am, I am great. <laughs> how the hell are you? I'm good, I'm good. Today I'm going to to DHL to see what's happened with my CDs because they might have got lost in the mail. Oh, okay, <laughs> not deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, Shannon's actually in the waiting room now, so if you're all good to go, I will yep. let her in. Cool. Oh. I want to have a job in five years. <laughs> hey, I think you will. I think this album's the start of a very, very long career. Oh, God, okay. Well, that's, that's what I want. That's not stressful. <laughs> oh, thanks, Shannon. Thanks. Thank you. I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Bye. Sick. Oh, that was fun. She was cool. I like when I have interviews with people that are like, I love what you do. I love your work. It makes me happy. The day before releasing the album, it was fun. It was hectic. It was stressful. Uh, I feel like with the autism inside of me, I, I need routine, but the ADHD is like, you can't do that. I've got a haircut in in 25 minutes, and then I've got to pick up my prescription, then i got to call my GP to make sure they do their job, and then I'm going to try and be confrontational to a man at Londis. The album comes out tomorrow, and for the charts, like, sales don't count until they've been shipped off to the person that's bought them. So we've just lost, like, 200 sales because we've lost these CDs. CDs. Oh, Hello. Hello. Nice. Is a new album? Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Tomorrow? Tomorrow, yeah. It's coming out at midnight. Okay. Oh, I remember. Was he really cute? You could talk with Gabby. I was... I had planned out the day specifically to like the time, like to the minute I had planned out my day. Um, and then obviously stuff came through. Echo. Radio 1 keeps pronouncing no offence wrong. So I'm being asked to send over a funny audio clip. Maybe I'll edit of clips of the DJs that have played it this week pronouncing it wrong. And then you like joking about it and saying how to pronounce it right for Dean and Vicky's show. We have an hour and 40 minutes. What is this fuck? I have too many emails. I love having PR. They just send me like time codes of any time I was mentioned on Radio 1. Jesus, it shows you impacts. Fucking hell. Three day headache. 526, 526,817 people were listening to Three Day Headache on the 5th of March. See, here it is. No Finis. Three Day Headache. No Finis. <laughs> <laughs> this, this one says, lost count of how many versions of Noah's name they came up with. This is from Noah Fire. No offense, but it's no offense. Yeah. Noah Fins. <laughs> Noah Finis. 
<laughs> the finest Noah right here. Just so you know, um, the t-shirts only had like nine left last night when I looked at the um, Mr. Cock ones for the album bundles. That's, that's alright, almost sold out of t-shirts. <sighs> Be honest, does this make me look like a furry? Like, or like other kin? Or like I like identify with wolves? No. It doesn't? No. Okay, cool. That's okay if I did though, it's okay if, you, if you're a furry. I like furries, they're nicer than most people. Time to go pick up my prescriptions, pick up a letter for the US tour so that they'll inject me with my medication, and argue with a man at Lund Lond Londis about whether or not he's stolen my CDs. I feel like it would be kind of impossible to have a chill day, even if my schedule was booked to be chill, I, I would not be chill. I think I'm, I'm, I'm glad I was as busy as I was because there was less time to think. So think oh, it's on this way, okay. No, okay, cancel Uber, cancel Uber. For reasons uh, out of my control, yes, cancel. Corey's asking me if I've left. Um, no, Radio 1 keep pronouncing my name wrong, so I've been asked by PR to send a, a, a little clip of me reacting to the wrong names and we filmed it as a video and then turns out they just wanted it as audio and for me to change what I said so I had to cancel the Uber. This happens a lot. The, well, I mean, the, I mean, this is, this is, you know, Radio 1. But usually it's just like, oh, could you quickly just do this thing? And I'm like, cool, yeah, no, I didn't have plans anyway. No, it's fine, don't worry. I, I hate when plans change. Half the album is about autism, so. I feel like the themes of the album, a third of it is about autism. A third of it is about like angry trans stuff and the rest of it is just like, oh god, growing up on the internet really screwed me up. Who is that? Me and you, you nana. It's recording you. What from? From now. You see you're on telly, look. What are you doing? My, my whole life, there's definitely been differences between me and pretty much everybody else and it can be lonely, but I, but I think like learning about autism and really like understanding it has helped me a lot. Um, and a lot of the album was processing that. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> give me a one, two, three, four. Of course, yeah. So it'll go. Let me. I'll give you double that. Go. So. Seems like everybody else can fix the problems. They identify the issues and they solve them. Well, I wish that I could have a fucking option. In my feelings, I'm wallowing. Just take your butt and swallow it. Classic. Really nice. One more. In my feelings, I'm wallowing. Just take your butt and swallow it. Alexithymia is the inability to communicate, understand, or like recognize your own emotions, which is something that I've always struggled with. And until I found the word, I just was real confused all the time. I swallow it. Amazing. Come there. We shot um, some of the music video for Mind Blank down here. Really? Like there's a scene where I'm on TV and really angry, and it, we walked past there and it was like covered in trash. Rubbish, and like that was great. So it's definitely not. It's definitely not so here. Yeah. Do you have like confirmation of it being picked up? Yeah. Okay. Great. Couldn't get in touch with DHL, um, but they they've printed a bunch more CDs, and then when I do the signing in London, I'm gonna sign 200 more on Mother's Day. Cool. I could post the about the radio thing tonight. No, it needs to be like an album related post, isn't it? Not really. Anyway, I need to tell my tour manager that I have a letter that says I need to get my testosterone injected in Texas, which I assume is not possible. When I came out on the internet, I was so reluctant because I was just like, I don't want to become the trans guy. Like, I don't want that to define me because like, as trans people, we are so much more than just our gender and like the experience that we've gone through. I think the first US tour meeting kids in Texas and hearing the stuff that they went through, I was like, Jesus, Jesus. Like, I I'm not just thinking about trans stuff in relation to myself. I'm thinking about like the whole world and the fact that like I represent trans people in, in some way because they look up to me. I, I can feel a rise in anti-trans stuff just in like the past two and a half years. Um, I write music to like process my feelings um, and it was just something that I was thinking about all the time, all day. It's all kind of just 
been building up and it felt really therapeutic to write a song about it and it felt even greater to release those and have kids scream them back to me. Got another album review in. This one's five stars. I've given the album five stars. Saying, uh, from thumping electro rock tracks such as Scumbag and I Know Better to the punk of you's lovely ladies, Adams has left no page unturned and with this record making it one that people can find some kind of solace in and further cement himself as one of music's most important new voices. Come up with a plan to promote my album. I tried to get everything done in advance. And then I was sat on the day being like, oh god, I have no promo to post. Like, I've posted all of it. I've been trying to plan this for months. I'm like, okay, I, I want to get everything done in advance. Last year, I was so burnt out by the end of the year. And I was like, I'm going to take the whole month of December off. Didn't relax. <laughs> but one of the things I was supposed to do was uh, plan the posting, which I have not done. And it's currently 3.35pm. I've got a post at like 6.30 or 7.00. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> so I've got interviews starting in an hour and ten minutes. So I have an hour and ten minutes to figure out whatever the fuck I'm going to say. Luckily I have a massage at 7.45pm, which will fix everything. <laughs> Subtitles. I can be like, this is the last day that this is my album. Um, But yeah, well, the main thing is just like, I want like either like a picture or like a video that does well. The people are interested in, even if they don't give a shit about the album. But I'm. Um... Speak to you both soon, yeah. and I'm sure I'll see you at a gig very oh, yeah. soon. Definitely. And thank you so much Cheers. Um, for everything. Alright, see you. Bye, bye. Awesome, thank you, bye. Bye. <laughs> right. Well, if you're ready, I can uh, press record and we can get going. See it. Um, now, speaking of the writing side of things, for, for you, how do tracks normally start off? The majority of the time that I'm writing, I'm writing with people that I already know. Um, and most of the album was written with my friend Steph Abingdon, who also produced most of it. Uh, yeah, let's do the low and the high of that. I feel like the way I've written songs has changed a lot in the past few years. When I first started writing, I would be really worried that, like, if I didn't go into a session with a verse and a chorus and a general plan, that, like, I wouldn't be able to say in the studio, hey, no, I don't like that. And I was worried that, like, people would just end up finishing the song for me. Sick. Did you say but? But. Which asks me but? how I am, but I haven't. Yeah. I reckon well. But the way that it's been going recently is, like, I go into the studio, I have an idea of what I want to write about. I take it back. It's kind of like a therapy session and because I'm so close to Steph now, we, we just end up talking and the song kind of writes itself. I don't like using other people's words or other people's lyrics. Um, and I don't know if it's just because I'm stubborn or if it's because like the way that I've gained an audience online is just by like being myself. I feel like my music is just an extension of me. Like I've never written a song in the hopes of like trying to connect to people, if it happens, that's great, but it's more just like, this is how I feel and I need to put it out there. And apparently a lot of people just feel the same. <laughs> Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then and then after that, yeah. yeah. So just yeah, give a bit of that. This is more for lyric writing than yeah. Anything. This is kind of like pre-chorusy build up. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. No, I'm, it's on the of, same page. Yeah, yeah. yeah pre-chorus, chorus, post. I'd say. Yeah. Sick. I fucked up so All much. good. No, <laughs> let, let's go again. But you get it. No idea what's happening.
this mic wasn't working and now it's again was off. This is like the big album push, um, which I've never had before. I had like two EPs before and that was way less work. That amount of interviews was wild. Um, I've never had that many interviews in a day, but it, it felt really cool because I was like, oh, it feels like things are happening. Even though it was real stressful and tiring, I had to take naps. There we go. Cool. How was that? Was yeah, that, that was great. Thank you. Cool. Hello. Who up? Why is your voice so deep all of a sudden? Is this how, is this, this, this is this not how I speak? Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I, I felt validated. Yeah. I was worried there. No. I was like, are you putting on a voice for the live stream? Hey, no, stop putting on a voice for the live stream. I've been sat on the album for like six months, um, and it's hard to know what other people will think about it because I've listened to it so much that I can only see my own perspective of it. Cool, it's 12 minutes, very normal. It's just weird. It's like, I, I don't have like, like playing, playing shows is different. Like you see people react live to the song, but then this is just me on my laptop being like, I hope they like it. <laughs> I hope they think it's cool. Yeah, subtitles is the is the crying song, by the way. If you're if you're looking for crying and you wanna to listen to the album. Oh! The album's out in the UK! Oh yeah. Alexa stop! God, be quiet. Fuck. Ah, oh, it's out. Things are so different now from how they were before. Oh, I don't know what to do. I need to promote everything ever all at once at the same time. Can't do that. It's fine. Boo, 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 boo. I'm just gonna be stuck on my phone all night. I gotta leave in the morning tomorrow. Early and bright. <laughs> uh. Turn midnight, got 3,810 million. No, wait. Three million. <laughs> 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 It's so good, it's so good, it's so good, oh my god. It's actually been on repeat since Friday, and oh, it? Okay. <laughs> like, everyone that I know is sick of it now. My favourite song is gibberish. My favourite song is subtitles. That is also my favourite song. Good choice. I think that it really depicts a lot of what his fans struggle with. I know best is my favourite song. Yeah, good one. <laughs> I love his new album, it's absolutely brilliant. Hello. You alright? Yeah, you got a call from my mum yet? I was trying to do lip sync stuff for TikTok and I was like, I have not, <laughs> I know the words. Just not fluent. <coughs> Rise and grind, yeah, let's chase the fucking cash flow I've been going hard even if you didn't ask, bro Happy Mother's Day! Thank you! Happy Mother's Day. Thank you! I appreciate that I help people with my music and like my videos and stuff I say, but there's still that thing in me where I'm just like, look, like I am, I, I did not do that. I, I'm glad that I can help, but like I am not that responsible for your well being. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no, I get confused sometimes. What are you doing? I care about the people that care about me because like, they don't have to show up. They don't have to buy the album. They don't have to listen to the music, um, but they do. And I, I'm very grateful for that. No, this is for tour. Am I bringing it on tour? You're bringing it for the tour bus. You didn't have a plant the last time and you're all crying. I feel like I haven't even processed the last year or two because things have happened so quickly. But yeah, I mean, I'm grateful for everything that happened. I'm glad that the things I have to process are all positive. My brain is just like in constant, ah, mode. I'll be posting things on the internet. You should watch them.